next bout scheduled for eight rounds in the middleweight division and it's brought to you courtesy of three lines promotion sponsored by rbf drywall city of lakes drywall and spar boxing apparel the three judges scoring this contest at ringside are Cyril Desjardins, John Robinson, and Brad Jardine. And a referee in charge of the action at the sound of the bell, veteran referee Craig Smith. And all five fans, here we go. Eight rounds in the light heavyweight division. Introducing to you first tonight, fighting out of the blue corner, standing with Jose Rodriguez. Tonight wearing the camouflage trunks, he officially weighted 182.4 pounds. In 10 professional contests, his record is solid. Seven victories, four wins by way of knockout, only two defeats with one draw. Desde Navajoa, Sonora, Mexico, presentando Jesús Mazo Moroyoki Palomare. And his opponent tonight, across the ring, running out of the red corner, standing with Jesse Thompson, wearing white and gold. He officially weighed in 182.4 pounds. This evening, he enters through the ropes with an outstanding record. 15 bouts, 14 victories, 11 wins by way of knockout, and only one defeat. Fighting out of Montreal, Quebec, Canada, Here's the party bride of Uzbekistan. Here is Hartor, the Crimean Lion, Ziantinov! Okay, gentlemen, you're fighting on the rules of the Nova Scotia Combat Sports Authority. I want you to obey my command at all times and protect yourself at all times. Touch gloves, return to your corner, go to the side of the bell. As you said, on the newest editions, the three lines promotions against Jesus Palomares of Sonora, Mexico. Referee for this one, Craig Smith. Palomares in the army trunks. Ziatinov in the all white trim with gold. Just feeling each other out. A little less of a quick start than our first fight. Good job by Ziatinov. Yeah, what you're Tremendous watching. Tremendous job by Ziatinov. This guy's a technician, isn't he? Just beautifully skilled. And uh, Jesse Thompson just really molding his, his attributes properly. Um, his one loss comes to taking a fight he shouldn't have taken during the pandemic against basically a hometown fighter and uh you know he went over to russia for that one yeah unfortunately he was stuck in russia you know during the pandemic and visa issues and whatnot but uh, thankfully uh three lines promotion was able to get that all sorted get him back here he's he's actually in my hometown in montreal it's a slow start but you what you're seeing is you know he's he's poking and prodding he's figuring him out right now He's going to start laying in his work. Beautiful job, Spicy Abdullah. Just feeling the power a little bit of Palomares at the moment. He's, he's very poised. He's, he's so calm in there. It's very hard to get any kind of rise out of him or to, to see any kind of flinching from him. That Russian style. Oh, just as I was, I was just about to ask Manny as we're watching this fight with Ziatinov having not been in the ring for so long. Is he maybe looking to get some rounds under his belt here? Because he looked like he was just touching and turning, or is that just him just figuring things out right now and then he's going to turn things up? I'll, I'll say this. Uh, whatever him and Jesse worked out, he's going to follow the plan to a T. It, it, he's going to put his, side, his feelings aside and uh, whatever he's... And he's going to follow the, the, the plan here. So if, if I'm Jesse Thompson, I'm, I'm guessing here, I mean, I'm assuming that... You're, you're right on that. They're going to look and try and get at least a couple rounds out of this guy. They could probably try and put the pedal to the metal and put him away. But that's not going to serve him in the long run. In the end, they're looking to showcase his skills here. They're looking to really uh, 
double stamp that three lines promotion endorsement. Palomares lands a little right hand of his own as Ziatinov takes the sting off it by stepping back half an inch. We've got 30 seconds left of this. I think so far it's been a pretty clear round. Arthur Ziatinov winning it by the jabs. Clean technical work from him. You say he's won the round, but I mean, do you really know at this well, point? With this? <laughs> Oh, nice right hand. Good by right hand for Palomares. Those jabs got him, got Palomares a little red in the face. Let's see what the corners have to say here. There shouldn't be too many instructions from, from Jesse Thompson. I think uh, Arthur's doing well. Go with the, the replays here in the story was probably that piston-like jab by Ziatinov. He only really put a little bit of stink on it a few times throughout the, the round. That's all he needed. He didn't overcommit. He didn't put himself in any kind of risky danger. He won a clear round, easy peasy. Jose Rodriguez in the corner of Palomares. Is there anything Jose can say to Palomares in that corner that can alter? Let's, ultimately, he's got to get him more aggressive, right? Be aware that that jab's coming. Try and slip under it, close the gap, maybe do some work to the body, come back over the top. Unfortunately, that's easier said than done. Little issue with the Vaseline water on the chest there. All right. Here we go. Round two. Let's go in. Now we're gonna fight that. We're gonna fight that. Good movement from Arthur circling out. Good. Reposition. So guy, this is his 16th professional fight, but it's Faster reset. Faster reposition. probably is you know, 200 odd fights he's had in his life with all the amateur experience. Oh, almost dropped him there. He. Nice short shot from Ziatinov. Two, three inches from the ground, his butt almost hit the ground there. A sign of things to come, maybe, from Ziatinov. He, he likely asked Palomares to bring it up himself. Nice right hand by Ziatinov. He's starting to break him down now. You can tell. Not just that, Palomares is kind of fed up as well. His, hand, his guard has dropped a little bit. Doesn't have his hands as high anymore. Which is a bad news for that evil jab. Nice left hand downstairs by Ziatinov. That's the benefit of using the jab. Then you can pick punches like that instead of or off that jab. Ziatinov performing beautifully so far. You know, sometimes it's about establishing the rhythm, but it's also about breaking that rhythm. So keeping them guessing, so to speak. More of a boxing match here, as opposed to the fight we had last time out. But nonetheless, a pleasure to watch someone like Ziatinov, a true master of his craft. Well, that's the other thing, right? You got to keep in mind the other guys had less than five fights each. We're watching a seasoned professional nice here. Nice right hands by Artur Ziatinov as he mixes up the attack. Palomar is fighting back to his credit. You know if you've been in the ring with Diego Pacheco, and I think he went six or seven rounds with Pacheco, you know he's got something about him. He's not come to lay down as he eats a jab there and tries to counter with an overhand right. Listen, he's in shape, he's sturdy. Ziatinov switching to Southpaw for a moment here. This might be a little too much for him, but so far he's, he's, he's given a good showing of himself. Less than 30 seconds to go here in round two. Live on fight in the Forum in Halifax, Nova Scotia. Dan Otter's three lines promotions. I'm here with Manny Montreal. Ten seconds, though. As we close round two of what's surely been another Ziatinov round. So far, the story is that jab. Laser-like jab.
nice work from Ziatanov. Can really Palamadas is tough. Winced on the jab, but he came forward anyway. He hasn't been hit with anything of any real consequence just yet, Palamares, but he is getting marked up a little bit. This will be, uh, this is the addition game here. So he's, he's looking to consistently keep that pressure on him and, and put those punches together and break his man down. All right. So this is an eight rounder. Start round three again with the jab. Ziatanov managed by Gary Friedman, Manny Montiori. He's got a couple of guys in the stable like John Michael Bianco, of course. He manages a mix. That's Akishia, who's going to be in our main event tonight. Gary doesn't mess about, does he? No. He's got a good stable. He's a traveling man, that's for sure. Good nice shot to the body. I think Ziatanov caught that on the inside of the glove. Good shot to the putty from Arthur returning the favor. Palamares answers back, he's come to fight. I can see. Uh, Palomares looking to put something together here, smiling at Arthur. His confidence seems to be going up a little bit. Back to the jab, Arthur. Back to the jab, just pay. Set it up. There you go. It reminds me of... You can't do nothing with the jab. Oh, good right hand. My organ in a way. And good left hand. Nice exchanges by both Good men. Hook. Big left hand by Artur Zyatanov. Palomares may have been best saved, leaving Zyatanov asleep. Jesse Thompson telling Arthur to stick to the jab. Jesse breaking out the Russian words. He does seems he, to have. He, 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 he seems to have. He seems to have some code words with him. I find that very interesting. Interesting. I'm gonna have to ask him afterwards. Big heavy shot. Sounded good. Ziatanov did block it on the on the elbow. Well, that made him question things there. It's the shot selection by Ziatanov, isn't it? Well, when he chooses to get creative with it, you know, it's the ones you don't see that hurt the most. Nice right hand by Palomares. He's making it a fight. No, we're not out of the woods yet, that's for sure. Arthur def definitely has a, a tough debut here as a lion. From Palomares' point of view, if there was ever a time to Ooh. fight a guy like Artur Ziatanov, it's now after the three year. Yes, absolutely, to give himself the best chance there. Ooh. Nice left hooks again by Ziatanov. They trading on the inside, both men. Reaction from the forum here. Kind of 30 seconds left, a little 20 seconds left actually. Going back to the jab for Arthur. He throws it from the hip, but it is a beautiful jab. So we enter the final 10 seconds of round three. In this catchweight bout. Artur Ziatanov will be operating as a light heavyweight, but Given the fact it's his first fight back after a long time out, this is at 183, I believe. Here's the highlights. Jesus Palomaro is bringing it. Have you got this one, Manny? Fairly, fairly comfortably for Ziatanov, I imagine. 30 27. 10 9 across the board so far for Arthur. There's, there's been moments where Jesus Palomares has, has glimmered or looked good, but they haven't been enough to, to even win around. I still cannot believe what I saw in the last fight. <laughs> I don't want to go back. We shouldn't dwell on things. We should move forward with positivity in life. However, I'm still shocked. Maybe these guys have got Palomares up. Round four, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for joining us live on Fight.
Ah, towards the captain of Jesus Palomares. Almost halfway through their contest here in Halifax, Nova Scotia. Ball to the left, cut to the right. Jesse Thompson reminding his fighter to cut to the right, not to turn it into his left. Interesting to see manager Gary Friedman actually in the corner tonight. Assistant Jesse Thompson. Good, nice step up again by Ziaptonov. Palomares has answered back so far, and he's been asked questions by Ziaptonov. Well, he's answered back himself, and he's mounting an attack of his own right now. He hasn't been all that successful, but activity-wise, this has been his best round, though. Good job by Ziaptonov. Oh. Oh. Two. A string of one twos by Ziatinov. Both men exchanging now in the center of the ring. No, I gotta wonder if the weight difference is maybe taking away from Arthur's regular power. Switches just to southpaw for a moment here again. Maybe that's a sign of you know, Palomares being a tougher riddle than he wanted to crack tonight. He doesn't seem phased or uncomfortable. No, and I don't think Arthur's in, in a, a state of panic or worry that it, it, it won't come, so to speak. He might be getting frustrated and, and thinking it's taking longer than he thought it would. That'd be plausible. Good uppercut from Arthur there. Nice work by Artur Ziatinov. Culminating with a right hook upstairs. Jesus Palomar is definitely not smiling anymore. Stern, serious look on his face as he tries, but in vain. Arthur Ziatinov, still too fresh. 30 seconds left here. Wild overhand right by. Palomares. I think this may be the point in the fight where Jesse Thompson does ask for a little bit more when he goes back to the corner this time. Well, like I said, I, I wouldn't be surprised if this was part of the plan from the beginning. Good three punch combination from Arthur there. Finishing on the body. Uh, given what we've just seen in the, in, in the last fight with the decision in that last fight between Olchowecki and Bopre, you know, is Ziatanov asking for trouble when he, when he handcuffs himself and lets Palomares work? Or? Well, at this moment, I fear for anyone that doesn't end their fight in a knockout. That's, that's the honest to God truth. Unfortunately, that first fight kind of set the, the tone. Still 10-9 across the board. I will say the pace did slow down a little bit. That first minute, uh, Palomares was able to, to try and, and exert some energy, but it was unsuccessful. 40-36. Our third dad and uh, Remember, folks, if you're watching at home and you're disappointed of that first fight, in my universe, the scorecard that I give is what matters. All right, here we go, round five. Well, a little clean up in the corner here, getting some ice out of the ring. Arthur Ziadanov spot, uh, sporting a little shiner under the eye there. I think we may see a little bit more urgency from Arthur Ziadanov here. Well, he's leaning he's in. in the pocket right now. Yeah, exactly. Making himself a little smaller, he's stepping in. He seems to, to have evil intent. Obviously, the light heavyweight division is quite hot right now. Manny, you've got the likes of Batavia, Dimitri Bivol. Obviously, Callum Smith's taken on Batavia later in the year. Mont Montreal, over the last decade, has, uh, maybe even more, has dominated the light heavyweight division. Stevenson, Kovalev was out there. Jean Pascal. Pascal. Even Butte that finished his career at that at that weight, but um, you know Arthur, Arthur's in very good company. He's trained with some of the best. He's sparred some of the best. It, 
I, I know for a fact he's part of the likes of uh, Shaquille Finn, uh, Ryan Ford, or, um, Eric Bazinian, a, a, a bunch of bigger uh, super middleweights and light heavyweights. Big right hand from Arthur. You can see a little fatigue in both fighters' faces now as we're in the fifth round, minute 32 left. I don't know how you say durable in Mexican, but Palomares is certainly very durable. Oh, nice uppercut by Palomares. Bigger uppercut. Caught him a little by surprise there. Palomares smiling again, proud of his work. Shots well, um, unfortunately, he's going to need to land something big to try and pull this out of the fire. Unless the judges here feel like helping him out. No, I'll, I'll say this. So far, I'm leaning to Palomares winning this round. This round. And I don't believe you want to give any rounds away, especially in this environment. If, if he can put together a, a decent fur, uh, flurry here, something to try and win the round. I'm not suggesting Artur Zyatanov is not winning this contest by any stretch, but and he's doing some beautiful work. Ooh. I just believe he could do some more of that beautiful work at the moment. I, I don't know if he's taking a break, so to speak, or taking the round a little bit uh, easier on himself to try and uh, conserve energy, which would be plausible. Sometimes you can offer a, an opponent a false sense of security or confidence, but at the moment he seems to be just taking his foot off the gas. So that's it, that's Jesus Palomares' first round in my book. Making this 49-46 the Adenon. Take a look at some of these replays here, Manny. Paul Myers still showing some good the defense. Off. There's that uppercut. Nice work, Zyatanov. He's looking for the right shots, and the shots that he's landed have been beautiful all night, but... I would certainly like to see Jesse Thompson and Claude Ziatanov to do a little more. Jesse Thompson smacking Arthur's legs, trying to get a little energy in there. There's a lot of ice in the corner for Jesse to get rid of. Alright, we ring the bell to round six. Arthur back on the jab. Good short shot to the body there. Good answer by Jesus Palomares. Use your speed, Arthur. Keep mixing it up. Mix up that speed. Good, some good punch selection from Palomares. But you, you can tell he's, he's running out of gas here. Arthur stalking them. We've been, well, I've been talking about Ziatanov doing a bit more, but maybe Palomares at this juncture in the fight can do a bit more and maybe make this real interesting on the scorecards. He, he if would, we get there. He would need to, but I don't see it happening. He's, he, he's just looking to hold. Arthur's just standing there waiting for him. Big right hand. Smart defense, then you come back with one good punch. Smart defense and come back with one good punch, Jesse Thompson says. Good short shots to the body. Interesting fight here, folks, as Yatanov lands another little short right hand. And Palomares answers back with one of his own. We got former IBF world champion Kel Brook sitting ringside here tonight. Alongside Shayna and Dan Otter. Shayna Otter, the chair of WBC Cares Foundation, they be in the ring at some point tonight. Arthur trying to get. Shake and bake, so to speak. I 
worry he's given rounds, if not moments, of rounds away far too easily at the moment by just inactivity. No, I, I think this round has been a, a clearer round for Arthur. Although it's, a bit, it's, it's been a lot of ones, there hasn't been any combinations or twos. He's got Palomares, his nose split open here, blood is streaming down his face. Palomares trying to sneak in those short, dirty shots, but to no avail. Thirty nice seconds left. By now it's Arthur that's trading smiles. Palomares breathing heavy through his through his mouth. His nose is bleeding. Blood all over the shoulder of Arthur Zyatanov. He's still exchanging the heart of a warrior, as you would expect from Sonora, Mexico. Tough, durable opponent. And any fighter that enters this nation with Jose Rodriguez usually comes, comes to fight. Good job by Palomares momentarily. Snapped the head back as he had enough. Not good enough to win him the round though. Good right hand again by Palomares. All right, round seven. Manny. Interesting fight so far. A more subdued affair. But we're fairly confident Zyatanov is in control here. I'm confident Zyatanov. I'm not confident in the judges, but I'm confident Arthur Zyatanov is in control. I, ultimately, I think maybe he gave up one round, but it was more him being inactive than anything else. It wasn't so much mistakes that he was making. Um, Do you think he will put his foot down now and try to seal this deal? I think so. I think so. I think the blood is streaming from this young man's nose. Paulo Harris seems to be breathing heavy. I'm not quite sure if he's broken it or not, but I'm ex I'm expecting breathing's gonna get even tougher. Here we go, round seven. Start with a big uppercut from Arthur. Uh, uppercut hook. Shots exchanged by both men as they stand in the center of the ring. Ziatanov has been the one on the front foot the whole night. He's landed the bigger, cleaner shots, of course. I'd like to see him punctuate this fight, I really would. Listen, Ed, we've had moments where he was putting punches together. And nice shot to the body! He slipped the shot to Palomares and landed a big shot downstairs. Palomares. He goes down there again was going down and came back up, said, you know what? No, I'm not done. Good work by Ziatanov. Bless his heart. Bless his heart. As you said, he, he fought to stay on his feet in that moment. He's still taking shots. Ooh. The shot selection by Ziatanov is increasing. Big shots. Craig Smith taking a good look at the moment. Palomares is tough, but maybe too tough for his own good. Yeah. Like you said, Manny, it's the accumulation of the volume at times. I've been important for him to do more. But he I has been peppering and picking away the whole night. I have a feeling that uh, border security is going to take a very big look at his passport picture and not recognize him. He's swelling up at the moment, Palomares. Big left hook of his own. He's trying. Still hasn't pulled it out of the fire, but he's still... Valiant effort. We got blood streaming out of his ear, out of his nose. Ooh. Big shots by Ziatanov. The the shots are getting less less and less answered. Uh, Arthur's punches are coming together more and more. Nice work by Ziatanov. Oh, big left hook. Oh my word. Jesus Palomares. The chin on this kid. Jesse Thompson reminding Arthur not to stand straight up. Asking him to create the perfect punch, not to look for it. Palomares on the ropes. Touches downstairs, a bit low. 
Referee could have maybe had that discussion a few minutes ago, later, but okay. Closing in on 10 seconds remaining in this seventh round here from the Fordham and Halifax. Rodriguez is going to have to ask him some very hurtful questions in the corner. Palomares is going to really have to dig deep for that last round. Well, we will call him for him to punctuate. And he certainly put an exclamation mark on that round in Zyatinov. Good shot, shot, shot to the body. body. He went back down there once more. He countered the shot, he slipped it well, he showed some beautiful head movements in that round, Zyatinov. It's the punch selection for me. He's when when he gets fighter. to get creative with it, Big shots again, we're watching on our replays here, folks. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the eighth and final round! Waited to the last second to get up off that stool. Arthur rushing up to him. Good stop and jobs downstairs by Ziatinov. what he needed and again we'll point out that this isn't his usual weight class so there is you know we are uh, we are kind of playing through so to speak and hopefully the next fight out we can get him something a little a, a, a little bit better in his actual weight class Arthur taking ta taking damage calling it on Jesse Thompson not liking that I would have to agree with Jesse on that one not a good idea, considering the judges you have here Jesse tonight. Thompson did not look happy in the corner at that moment. Oh! Oh, 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 oh my word! Wow! Oh my word! Hit the restart button, folks. The legs of Palomares buckled. I don't believe he's still going. Big Are left uppercut. Big shots. Craig Smith steps in. This fight's over, folks. That's it. a good for respect shot. Ladies and fighters. gentlemen, here for the form. Here for the form after an international clash here tonight. How about a huge round of applause for our warrior from Mexico and our warrior from Uzbekistan. Our referee, Craig Smith, steps in and puts a wave to this contest. The official time, 125 of the eighth round to the winner by TKO, the pride of Uzbekistan, Artur, the Crimean Lion, Zietino! Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, I'm here with your winner, Artur Zietinov. Artur. Man. Your first fight. It's your first fight back in the ring in a few years. How did you feel in there? Who no boxing? That's no boxing. Hello, everybody, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you to coming for coming. Uh, I feel great. I'm happy. To come back in the ring. In this in this in this months, two years, like I didn't fight, and step by step, inshallah. How did you feel to get the stoppage? It seemed like you were letting Jesus, letting Jesus do some work at times to get the rounds. But how happy are you to get the stoppage? You know, uh, you know uh, I, don't, I didn't think about how I can knock out him. I just came here to enjoy my enjoy my night, to do my things, what I did in the gym, and punch just came, and that's it. <laughs> 
Well, thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner, who's now 15-1, Artur Zyatinov. Fight my brother. <laughs>